If it weren't for him, I don't know what would have happened. New tonight, we are hearing from the Anderson woman who says this Indiana State Trooper saved her life. His training and instinct took over when she started choking at a restaurant. Yeah, it happened Tuesday in Pendleton. The two reunited today. They spoke only with news aide Julia Dang. And although Trooper Scott Keegan downplayed what he did, calling it just part of his job, colleagues, community members, and 75 year old Janice Carroll said it was above and beyond. Can I hold your hand? You can. You are my hero. A lighthearted reunion today after a near-death choking incident at Hacienda Vieja restaurant in Pendleton. He saved my life. Janice Carroll was eating lunch with a friend when food became launched in her throat. Right here. I could not swallow. I could not cough. I could not get it up. And I knew I was in trouble. A waiter rushed to help but couldn't clear her airway. Carol had one thought repeating in her oxygen deprived brain. I need help. <laughs> that was what's in my head. I need help. Her friend watched, helpless and horrified. She looked at me like as time seemed to stand still. And then another server who who knows that I'm a state trooper looked over and motioned for me to, to come over. Indiana State Trooper Scott Keegan was eating at a nearby table. In addition to his 15 years on the force, he had been a volunteer firefighter during college. Keegan knew exactly what to do. So I gave three good blows to her back and uh, abdominal thrust. And then from then she said that she had swallowed whatever she was choking on. This is what my service called for this time. And it was thanks to good timing. Keegan and Carol were in the same place. He took an early break that day so he could see his kids before teaching an evening training course. We were meant to be there at the same time. I really believe that. Now Keegan is more than just her hero. He's a friend and they're making plans to maybe do lunch together. And that was our Julia Dang reporting. Public health officials recommend everyone be trained in how to recognize and help choking victims. We have more information at wishtv.com about where to get certified first aid training.